So as you can see with ChatGPT, you can simply upload an image here, put in a very basic prompt, and you can get some outstanding results you can start using for your Etsy business. And we can see this sweatshirt has made 500 sales and it is bringing in a different type of personalization with the design by taking in a photo and adding this to the sweatshirt. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a very easy way for you to create these portrait style designs from a photo and how to create this sleeve type design with personalization and adding in a popular phrase. I wanna share this all with you coming up next. Welcome back to the video, my friends. You're here. My name is Jay. On this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. And I know selling on Etsy could be very challenging. That's why I created my super simple guide to Etsy sales. I share with you over 20 steps of what I have actually done to help me make daily sales, as well as share with you four exclusive videos that will share with you how me and my students are making consistent sales on Etsy. So if you're struggling with Etsy sales and you really want to see a major change in your shop, simply put in the comment section below the word sales, and I'll be happy to send this free guide over to you today. And in today's video, we're definitely gonna utilize some AI tools to help us create this type of product. What's gonna make this entire business possible is combining AI with print on demand like Printify and Printify is my number one place to create and sell all of my print on demand products. As you can see, they have a lot of different products you can use and start designing and listing on Etsy. And with their seamless connection with Etsy, all the thing you really gotta focus on is create high quality products and start listing them on Etsy. And Printify will take care of the printing and shipping for you so you can focus on what matters most, creating high quality designs. Now you can get started with Printify absolutely for free and get access to over 1300 products which makes this very easy for anyone who want to start an online business if you do want to check out printify on your own i make sure to leave all the details down in my description box below for you to get started on your own and to see if this is best for your etsy business so there are a lot of mother's day sweatshirts that's doing extremely well and one of the main places that we have seen these sweatshirts to do well is with personalization but if you want your product to stand out above the rest of the competition we definitely want to be creative in regards to the type of sweatshirt that we sell and we can see this sweatshirt has made over 500 sales and this product has sold well over 6,000 products just in 13 months and by combining this design with this popular phrase i think we can create something that can help our product sell well so we're definitely going to jump into printify and we're definitely going to start selling this on a sweatshirt so we head over to catalog here we want to head over to women's clothing head over to sweatshirts and specifically with the sweatshirts that we're going to create we definitely want that option to print on the sleeve of the design here and so we see this type of sweatshirt the gilded 1800 series is a great sweatshirt to start creating and designing for these sleeve designs and if you go down to choose manually you can see the exact provider that allows the print on the sleeve as we can see monster digital here allows the front back and neck label inner to be printed but if we go down to swift pod you can see all the print options here front side back side left sleeve right sleeve and the neck label so this is the option we're definitely going to choose because we definitely want the option to print on the sleeve of our design so when you are selecting a provider just be sure that you see which ones offer that print area now we see the size as well as the colors being offered the price of the swisher as well as the shipping so take into account all those things when you are pricing your products that so you're able to get the best profit so if everything is good here we'll go ahead and click start designing and before we design our product the number one thing we definitely want to make sure that we do is get the print area just not for the front of the sweatshirt but also the right sleeve of the sweatshirt and the easy way to find the actual numbers for that is go all the way up to the letter i here and you'll see the exact print size you're going to use for your canvas right when you're creating this in canva or kittle wherever your design platform is we're going to put in the custom canvas size 
4200 by 48 pixel this is going to be for the front of the sweatshirt and for the right sleeve of the design we're going to put in this measurement here 1181 by 4724 this is very important because anything outside of the dotted lines would not be printed so we definitely want to make sure we fit our design properly with what printify gives us so now that we have our print size let's go into canva set up our canvas to be the proper size and i want to share with you a very easy ai tool you can use to change any photo into these portrait type of designs we know to sell extremely well so now that we are in canva we want to head over to custom size here and we definitely want to add in the custom size we found on printify so with that being said we'll head over to custom and we want to put in that specific print area which is 4200 by 48 pixels and this is going to be the front of our design so if everything is good here we'll go ahead and create and then we want to jump back into canva head over to custom size again because now we're going to put in the custom size for our sleeve print area so with that being said we'll go back over to printify and get the numbers here which is 1181 by 47 24 pixel and we'll start creating here so now you can see we have our entire space laid out for our sleeve design here with canva and then with this one here we have our entire print size for the front of our sweatshirt here so with everything in place now we want to definitely go in and create this custom portrait photo that we can start adding to our design and one of the main places that we're going to use to help us do this is chat gpt so i'll walk with you step by step of how to do this so that you can get the same outcome i have here so we head over to chat gpt and the first area we want to go down to are these three dots because we do want to select the option where we have create an image and it's going to utilize the latest chat gpt version to create this image for us so now when you do get a custom order your customers will also send you a photo that you're going to upload into chat gpt and put in a prompt to get that creative art style we want for our design so just as an example i'm going to utilize this photo here as i share it with you my example i'm simply going to right click and copy this then i head back over to chat gpt and now i'm simply going to paste that image in and now i simply want to give a basic prompt so we can have that colorful art style that we know to do extremely well so the prompt that we're going to use for this is this prompt here where i simply said turn this image into a faceless art style portrait i'm going to go ahead and click enter and now chat gpt is going to take this photo here and turn this into a faceless portrait we can start using on our product all right so here is the results that we gathered and i think this came out extremely well again putting in this very basic prompt where we simply just told chat gpt just turn this into a faceless art style portrait and again it did that for us and this is something that we can definitely use for our design so the only thing we gotta do now is download this image and then plug this into our design that we can start creating this for our customer all right so now that we have our image downloaded we're simply going to drag and drop that in here into our area here for our design next thing we want to do is to remove the background of what we have because we definitely just want to keep the portrait that we have of the parents and the child in our design so with canva this is really easy all we have to do here is click on the image head over to edit and just simply head over to background remover and now as you can see here it removed the entire background now i'm not too concerned about the edges being cut off but if you are getting this from a customer i would encourage you to tell them to have a portrait where again the entire shoulders are showing but again just for our example today i think this is totally fine so that being said here we definitely want to shrink down our image to size and now we definitely want to put in just the word mom here with the two m's to fill out our entire design so i'll simply put t on my computer to bring up text here and i'll simply put m on this side here so in our case today we'll use this font here and then we're going to copy and paste to the other side here and we have mom so once everything is good here i like to group everything together so if i need to move it or resize it again everything is good to go there so the next thing we want to do is definitely add in that popular phrase this mom wears her heart on her sleeve and then obviously we'll add in the child's name 
on the sleeve of the shirt. So the same thing as we've done before, simply hit T to bring up text. Again, we're gonna make this a little bit larger here. And we're gonna use a different type of font style for this here. We're going to use just a script type font that I think can do extremely well. So we'll spell out everything here. And I think that came out extremely well. But so now that we have everything in place, because we can move this around or resize this if you want, everything is now in the perfect area for us to fit properly on our sweatshirt. And when it comes down to these type of designs, I like to put them more so to the top of the canvas here, because again, that's gonna cover right on the top portion of our sweatshirt. So now we have our, really our main portion done, right? We have the custom portrait photo in here. We have the popular phrase in here. And now all we have to do next is add in that personalization to the sleeve of our design. And by adding in the child's name and a heart can make this product stand out so well when we add in that custom portrait photo along with that popular phrase. So that being said, I like to utilize the same font that we had before. So I want to ungroup everything, again, copy this font, group everything back together so I don't mess up anything here. And now I want to add in the name of the child in the sleeve of the design here. And there's a lot of ways we can do this. I've seen a lot of sweatshirts do very well with having the name right across here. And I've seen a lot that has done well with just rotating the entire name at a 90 degree angle and have the name here as well. What I want to do for today's video is definitely utilize that 90 degree angle. So the name is going up the sleeve of the design. So we're definitely gonna add that here. Now, for our example, there's only one child in the photo, but again, if you have more, when you're doing this for a custom order, then definitely leave some room for you to add in those names on the sleeve of the design. So with that being said, everything here is dialed in place. Let's go ahead and just put a placeholder name here, which simply put John. And then I want this obviously to be a little bigger so we can see this together. I'll make this a little bit bigger for our placeholder name here. And also too, I don't want this to cover the entire sleeve because once you see this in Printify, we definitely want to be at the lower third of the sweatshirt. Again, this is from shoulder all the way down to wrist. So I definitely don't want to have it here because this is going to cover the entire sleeve of the design. So we'll go back down and shrink this name back to size here. And then we have that name. And now we just simply want to add in a heart just to make this stand out even more. So I head over to elements here. I just want to simply put in a heart and you could put something like this into the design, make it black fitting to what our text is all about. Again, I want to rotate this as well, 90 degree angle here and add this just to the end of the name just to make it stand out. Again, if I had a different name, then I'll simply copy and paste this here and put in that secondary name here. But that could be done as well. But again, for our example, only one child in the photo. So we'll definitely keep that where it is. And I think that came out extremely well. And if everything is done here, we want to go into share. We want to hit download here, set this as a PNG, transparent background. Now we'll download this and then head over to the sleeve design. Same thing, head over to download, set this to be a transparent background here. So now everything is good to go for us to upload this into Printify and start selling this on our Etsy shop. So now that we're back into Printify, we're definitely going to upload our custom portrait design here. So that being said, we'll drag and drop that over into our space here. And I think that came out extremely well. Again, we don't really have to make too many adjustments because it's at the top of the sweatshirt like we talked about before. Now we wanna head over to the right sleeve and then we wanna add in again that personalization on the sleeve of our design. So we'll go back in and find exactly where we added our design here. And this came out extremely well. Again, we didn't make this too large or too big because again, we just want this to be on the sleeve of our design and right by the wrist there. So we have our front side of our sweatshirt here. I think that came out extremely well. And we have our right sleeve of our design. All right, so here is the preview for the sweatshirt. And I think that came out extremely well. As you can see, that graphic came out really well here with the personalization in the middle here and with the sleeve part of the shirt, it's definitely tough to see with the mock-ups that come from Printify. But that's where you head into Etsy and definitely find a mock-up that has the sleeve design on it. So you can properly display your entire design that you have created. But just looking at this mock-up here, I think this design came out extremely well. And one I would definitely encourage you to create. Now, if you want to learn how to create more best-selling products, then check out this next video here and subscribe to my channel to learn more about how to make income online with Etsy. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.